Go get this delivered order, so ride with me. All right. And then underneath here, I got a silver tin as well, so that's it. Let's go drop it off. And I got a story time for y'all, man, when I get back. But I'm here for the next order. I got an Uber Eats here at Starbucks. So let's go get it. So I get to the delivery order. This probably by far was the one of the most annoying delivery orders I ever had. So I get to the customer and it's a business, right? So she put no information as to what the name of the business was. She put no suite number, no nothing. So I called her. The first time she didn't answer, the second time she did, she says, oh. oh. um, yeah, the suite, hold on, let me see, because I don't remember. Once she figured out what the suite number was, she told me, hey, I'm looking for the suite number, it's 270. I can't find 270 anywhere. What's up everybody we are at taco bell this is actually order number two order number one i didn't get any footage i really wasn't in the mood i didn't even know if i was gonna film today but um yeah let's go pick it up man Leave at the door. This will give you a heads up. Change that because some drivers will actually just leave it at the door. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So next order I got is a Chick Fil A. I believe it was eight seventy five for like five point three miles or something like that. Um, it kind of sucked because it wasn't near where I took that other upside down order. I was hoping to get a order from over there, but nothing. So I had to end up leaving from over there. But anyway, let's go pick it up. So right as I got that last order, I got another one for the Thai Garden. I love this place because they're usually in and out and they're extremely friendly. Um, I'm usually in and out of here because they just make the orders quick. So let's go get it. Hello. I have a pickup for Sonia. Yes. See what I mean? Already got that order on my way to go drop it off. Like I said, quick and easy not even two seconds as soon as i walked in she was like oh you have a pickup yep said the name gave me the order these are the restaurants you always want to pick up from because your experience is always going to be good that's why with this restaurant even when the miles are sometimes not the greatest i'll take it because i know i can shave off time because their orders are usually ready especially when it's for somebody who is like lives where it's like a lot of highway miles or something like that so let's go drop it off all right, so I just picked up a $26.50 order going 13 miles. So I got those two orders picked up. Uh, let me go drop this off and I will see y'all in a minute. Feet, turn right onto Patrick Henry Parkway. She always got to interfere. I'll see y'all in a minute. guys so i am back for another chipotle order but anyway i'm back at the same chipotle let's go get it so he put the sticker on the handle <sighs> does that make any sense i don't know maybe i'm tripping how you doing Thank you. so i got a wendy's pickup 525 for I think it was 2.5 miles 
which is great because it's going towards home. So let me go pick it up. to do a little PSA for any customers out there um, you might be a customer that doesn't really think anything of this but one thing I wish you guys would stop doing and seriously stop letting your kids come to the door for hand to bees stop doing that stop letting your kids come to the door for hand to me drop offs there's a lot of craziness going on in this world these days there's a lot of people kidnapping children and especially on an app like DoorDash, DoorDash doesn't even show you what your driver looks like. All you know is the car, even with that, somebody could just play as a driver. These DoorDash bags are easy to come, come by. You could order them, literally order them on the website and use them. So you could order that bag, pretend like you're a DoorDash driver, order an Uber Eats drive, uh, bag, pretend you're an Uber Eats driver, and that could be a way for somebody to do some harm to your children. So please, customers, I beg you, I urge you, stop letting your kids come to the door for hand to me. And I know this is a touchy subject and I know I might get flagged for this. I don't care. I just have to put this out there. They're in vulnerable situations because they're coming to get food. They can easily get grabbed. Sometimes the parents aren't even like standing near them. I hear parents screaming from the back in their room. Go get the door, ask the fool, grab the fool. That two seconds, somebody could grab your kid up and be gone. Message. Guys, my first order back since um I took my little break for bench warmers. So let's go see if this order's ready. $7 for uh, I think three miles. I know I'm not gonna take y'all inside, but uh, sometimes I just hate having to hold the camera, but yeah, see y'all in a minute. Confirm the order for me. What's the name of the order? Nah. Oh, okay. Let me just grab a quick picture. Have a good one. Good morning, people. Good morning. It is 9:46. Today is Tuesday, and. I'm going to be doing an Instacart shop. That's the first thing I took. Um, it's not really much going on, and I missed my DoorDash schedule. I got another one at 1030, because I, I try to schedule like every hour, especially like for the early morning. Anyway, um, it's not good. Let's, let's look at it. It's not good, okay? It's $20, okay? $9 in tips, so I'm taking the chance. It's two shops. 35 items 44 units and it's a lot of miles but i mainly took it because i'm just trying to stay busy so let's go do it So I got that shop done. The time is now 10.53. I actually loaded up the car by like 10.50, but who is hot. So I had to sit here and cool off for a second. Um, anyway, the drop-off time is supposed to be 11.20, but it says I'm gonna get there by 11.03. So I'm actually early. Uh, the time to shop those two orders, I believe was an hour and I did it in like 38 minutes or something like that. So not bad, shaved off a little time, so. Let's go get this order dropped off. Yo, the craziest thing, man, I just dropped off to that first customer and she didn't even know that we shopped the orders. She
she said, oh, does somebody already bag it up for you? And I'm like, Take no, I had to shop it. She said, and the crazy part is I had to shop for somebody else at the same time. She was blown away by that. She couldn't believe that we had to shop the order. She was like, wow. Some of these customers really don't understand that. And that's honestly, that's not the first time I heard that. That's actually like the third time I heard that. I don't know, man. It's the car. Y'all got to do better, man, because people, they get frustrated. They, they can't figure out why it's taking so long for their stuff to come sometimes. They don't realize that, that we have to actually shop it, some of them. The unfortunate part is then we have to depend on tips to make money. And most of these people won't tip because if they really don't know that we are shopping for them, they're thinking to themselves, why should I tip you for you just going to pick up my groceries and bring it to me? It's crazy, man, it's crazy. Anyway, let me go drop this next one off. Test your might. Test your might. Test your might. Test your might. Just dropped off that last Instacart. It's not too bad. Honestly, I think that was like my second alcohol Instacart. I never usually take them. Both times I've taken one, my experience was pretty smooth. The customer knew what they were supposed to do. They came out with everything prepared, like their license. Anyway, I'm off to do another one. I believe this was $11 and some change for like three or four items. I think it was another four or five items. Another small one like that, like that last one. So let's go pick it up. How you doing? All right, it's 10.37, oh, I think it was 10.37 a.m. Today is Wednesday, gonna go get this delivered order, so ride with me. Don't you just hate when you forget to get, look at that, gas light is on, forgot the gig tonight. So before I start anything, I gotta get some gas. Underneath here, I got a silver tin as well, so that's it. Let's go drop it off. And I got a story time for y'all, man, when I get back. But I'm here for the next order. I got an Uber Eats here at Starbucks, so let's go get it. All right, so real quick, I told y'all I had a story time, right? So, hold on, let me turn this air down. So, 
I get to the delivery order. This probably by far was the one of the most annoying delivery orders I ever had. So I get to the customer and it's a business, right? So she put no information as to what the name of the business was. She put no suite number, no nothing. So I called her. The first time she didn't answer, the second time she did, she says, oh. oh um, yeah, the suite, hold on, let me see, because I don't remember. Once she figured out what the suite number was, she told me, hey, I'm looking for the suite number, it's 270. I can't find 270 anywhere. She took so long, let me rewind. She took so long letting me know the suite number, I had already went in the building and just kind of went to the first suite that I could and tried to mention her name. The lady was like, oh yeah, we ordered food. Let me come in. I come in, I was, but before I set up, I'm still trying to get her on the phone. Luckily I did that because that was not where it was supposed to go. So I went to suite 100, I went to 270, went upstairs. Well, on my way trying to get to it, I can't find it. I go into 260 and the lady tells me, oh, um, 270 is right off, right when you come off the elevator, you gotta, you gotta make a quick right. Now, when I got off the elevator, the sign said 270 and points to the left, right? So boom, I already see the place that it's supposed to be going, which is across the way, but at this point, I don't know that that's it. So I go back to the elevator, I'm still trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. I come backwards and somebody comes out of the location, the suite that I need to go to. So I asked her, I said, you know, I got a catering order and I mentioned the customer's name. She doesn't know what I'm talking about. So then she then goes back in, she says, hold on. She goes in, she asks somebody there. They still don't know what I'm talking about. They're all clueless. So finally she lets me in because she said, oh, mind you, when I asked her, is this 270? The lady who came out, when I asked her, I said, is this 270? She said, Oh, I don't even know. I don't know where 270 is. She tries to walk with me somewhere else. Then she comes back and she says, Oh, yeah, this is 270. What? So then I go inside. Another lady comes out after and says, Okay, he can come in. Let him in. I think it's for us. I don't know. I come in. I mention the name. They're all like, like, I don't know who that is. So then they finally is like, Oh, um, I think that's our receptionist or something like that. I don't know what the situation was. Long story short, finally, Finally, I got it situated, so I was able to deliver it. But it was crazy, man. I don't have a wagon, right. so I had to carry all this stuff in a box. I'm carrying the box up and down, up and down, left and right, front and center, trying to figure out where this place is. I definitely got some workout. I got some lifting because that's the equivalent of lifting. Like, I feel the burn in my arms, man. <laughs> are going on strike because they're not making enough to make their mortgage but get a real job. UPS drivers are about to go on strike because of their unbearable working conditions but get a real job. There are many people who complain on this app about their jobs and how they aren't making enough money but get a real job. And Daddy. I make more money doing gig apps and any type of gig that I've worked than any other opportunity has ever paid me before, but get a real job. And people like this who say get a real job and hate for the sake of hating need to get a real life. That's the real moral of the story here. Fatality. gonna cry in the car all right today is thursday we are starting off with a delivered order i gotta go pick it up so no talking because i'm running a little late let's go get it bags eight waters they said and eight meals that's it all right look 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 look, look. miller ale house y'all are out of here i saw me standing there knocking on the door i'm knocking on the door knocking on the door knocking on the door nobody's answering me i'm calling the line calling the line calling the line they letting the phone ring everybody got their head down act like they don't know what's going on they ridiculous man my pickup time was 10 35 i had to call delivered 
The liver was like, I don't know what to do. Um, is there any way you could get somebody? Did you go to every door? I went all around the building to the back door, the front door. I tried to catch somebody on their way coming out. That didn't work. Finally, finally, at 10.52, I believe it was, I got somebody who was going into the restaurant, coming in for work. Once I got them, I was able to talk to them and say, hey, look, I'm here for an easy cater. So she was like, like, all right, I'll let them know. She goes inside and let them know. Then all of a sudden, miraculously, now they come rushing to open the door. Mind you, that order is easy. Light work. And that's bad for business. So when, when I notified them and I let them know at Deliver, Deliver said to keep them updated. I asked about compensation because I know last time they compensated me too when there was a delay. The way it works is the delay starts anytime after 15 minutes. What I was told was they build the restaurant for the delay. They gonna have to answer for that when they see that they got billed for that. That's that. That's how it should be though. And I think all restaurants should should be penalized when they are delayed because you got to take these orders seriously. They paying customers just like the people who come in the play in the store. Delivered, pun intended. <laughs> so I got a roadie. It's not good, but it's taking me back to where I just came from, or at least around it. So that's why I'm taking it. Listen, you got to keep the wheels churning when you're doing these multiple apps. So let's go get it. it. So this is the box I had to pick up. And that's it. Let's go drop it off. So, that roadie turned out to be good. The guy gave me a $10 tip, so that turns it into $22, which I'm kind of glad because it was a long drive and he lived way in the countryside. At 2520 over here on delivered 1225 on roadie 9269 on uber 1379 on grubhub 53 dollars and 10 cents on doordash and then 60 16 dollars and 25 cents on doordash so and then i got a 10 dollar cash tip so that comes to the grand total of 223.28 is the total for thursday and we're going to do it again tomorrow. Run it up, run it up, run it up. All right. See y'all tomorrow. All right. So today is Friday. Time is now 11.07. If y'all can see that behind me, I had to go get an oil change. So I'm just now getting started. So I kind of missed some of the breakfast rush. Breakfast been kind of, it's been okay lately in my area. So kind of sucks that I missed it. But you got to do what you got to do, right? So next time y'all see me, I'll be doing something. I'll have an order on somewhere, some app or something to be going on. So see y'all in a minute. So much time doing delivery in this zone. I never even knew that this restaurant was one here. I pass it all the time. And two, that they had a partnership with Uber. So that's what we got to go pick up. Let's go get it. Have a good one. So we are back. This is another spot that I've never picked up from before. I passed it many times. And it's crazy because it's like borderline between my zone and another zone. But I've never gotten an order for them not one time. So let's go pick it up. I'm definitely coming back to this place. They really show appreciation. She handed me a cup and said, this is for you. Gave me something to drink, told me stay hydrated. And she didn't have to do that. That was very kind and considerate. So anybody who is in the Stockbridge area who does deliveries, um, or if you don't do deliveries and you just want to come get something to eat, come to um, Hamburger Mike. It's really easy to find. It's like right off of um, Judeco Road or Jodico. Some people call it Judeco, some people call it Jodico. Between the intersection, like if you're coming from Flipping Road, um, near the Eagles Landing location. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my drink. <sighs> now 
I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so just grabbed another order. Um, hung, hamburger Mike's. Here we come, right back to you. Um, let's go pick it up. So now, um, just got out of hung, Hamburger Mike's again, okay? Uh, this time around, the order wasn't ready. Uh, but it's okay because even to make that complete order, I only waited about maybe eight minutes and she gave me another drink. I told her, I, I, it's like I was just sitting here, y'all gave me one. She said, oh, that's okay. I'm pretty sure you're gonna still need to be hydrated and you probably drank the other one or almost finished the other one. So take another one. So that's drink number two. And I'm telling y'all, hamburger mics, man. Let me show y'all. All right, it's 5.46 p.m. Getting back out here a little late, but nevertheless, getting back out here. Ooh. So, I'm gonna fire up these apps and we're gonna see what's going on. See if we get an order. I'm not gonna work too late tonight because I got something to do early tomorrow morning. So, let's get to it. Alright, so I know it's been a while since y'all saw me, but um, I'm here about to get a DoorDash order. Let's go pick it up. Alright, so let me wrap this up real quick. So, as y'all can see, press office, 12.30 a.m. So um, we got forty-seven fifty-three for Uber, and we had a bunch of different ones for DoorDash. We got thirty-seven, thirty-one seventy-five, eighteen fifty, twenty-eight dollars, and thirty-one twenty-five. Ten dollars over here for uh, Grubhub. Which the grand total is, if it focus, one hundred sixty-seven dollars and three cents. So I'm tired. I'm about to go to sleep. I got to get up early tomorrow, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. The time is like almost seven forty. I'm just getting out here. Yeah, I know should have been out here but I had a lot to do today so let's go get this first door dash order let's try this again so I'm, I actually had to give back that door dash I didn't want to get a contract violation I had to go pick something back up in the house that I forgot so now I'm doing a Uber Eats I actually got a stacked order first I'm at Wingstop then I'm gonna go ahead to IHOP and pick up the other one so let's go get it done baby let's get it done I made a whopping seven dollars on DoorDash. Made fifty-five dollars. I want to say that's for about four and a half hours. So that's terrible. Uh, one of my orders just took way too long. The guy couldn't open his gate. He had surgery done, so he wasn't feeling the greatest. But he ended up driving out to come get his stuff after going back and forth back and forth trying to get uh his stuff to him and get the gate open and it didn't work he just ended up coming out so uh that took a while to, between me calling uber and calling him and then uber calling me back and oh man that took like an hour to do that order so he kind of really messed me up and i lost all my morale after that 
um, to be honest. And then everything just kind of slowed down. When I did get orders, nothing was ready. Everybody was, who's anybody, was at these restaurants. And they were just moving really, really slow. So that's it. That's Saturday. Right, good morning, people. Time is now 10.58. It is Sunday, baby. Last day of the week. Um, I'm on my way to go pick up a roadie. Uh, it says it was an extra large. I should have space. I might have to fold down more seats, but I might not. Uh, let's see what happens. So let's go get it. Hopefully, it's, it's not going to be a long wait, too, because I really don't like to do Walmarts um, just because the way they operate. But... Let's get to it, man. Just like that, it's in there. Let's go. All right, so I got that roadie dropped off, and now I'm just heading back to a hot spot so I can see if I can get another order, uh, something on another app. So I'll let y'all know when I got something else and be making some more money, all right? All right, so after many, many um, changes, I had to put uh, cancel some orders and all kind of stuff. I finally got another order. I got a Grubhub, so I'm about to go pick that up. Um, I had to get rid of my Instacart. I put in two more roadies. I didn't get accepted. Um, I had like three Uber Eats, but they I ended up canceling them because they just it didn't work out. They were too far. Restaurant wasn't ready, and I wasn't trying to wait, considering that I took a pretty bad order anyway. But I was just taking something to keep me busy. Anywho. Um, let's go pick this grub up. I took a restaurant I hardly ever take pop, uh, Popeyes I just took it to stay busy but I'm only giving them it's a seven dollar payout I'm give them seven minutes if it ain't ready in seven minutes we out of here that's it got another Instacart one item some dish detergent um, not dish detergent some laundry detergent um, for Walmart I mean Walmart what am I talking about for Walgreens so let's go get it done. All right, so I grabbed the Instacart. Um, I believe it was like $10 for like two miles or something like that. Uh, it looked like it's about to rain too. So I might have to go in the house in a little while and come back out, try to give me some food too, because I ain't eating nothing yet. But anyway, let's go get it done. Let's go get it done, baby. So, um, it's about 250, two, it's 256, 258, something like that. And it pretty much has been kind of slow for a Sunday so far. I'm hoping that the dinner shift picks up. I'm hoping that the dinner shift is really good and I can make some substantial money for dinner. Anyway, I'm going to stop real quick. Go make me something to eat because I haven't eaten any breakfast. So, um, I'll see y'all when I come back. All right. So, I think it's like 445 or something like that. Oh, let me turn that down. Um, so I'm back out. Damn, the brightness is crazy. I don't know why it's so bright. It's just the sun. It is what it is. Anyway. I'm on my way to go get this batch. Right up the street. They just sent me a message. They probably want me to hurry up and go get it. Um, 
So yeah, let me go grab this batch. It's another ten dollar joint. And uh, shop this real quick, get it dropped off. I think it was like 3.8 miles or something like that. But anyway, I'll see y'all in a minute. Quick, quick, quick. It would have been faster, but I had a couple of substitutions. But I'm going to go drop this off real fast. So that footage you saw of the Instacart, I'm, um, I grabbed that order because quite frankly, it was just too good to pass up. Um, the miles wasn't that bad, you know what I'm saying? And it was paying $20 for only like six items. I never been in that store before and I still was able to knock that shop out in six minutes, which is crazy because that was literally my first time going in there. And Instacart didn't even have any aisle information like they normally do. I don't know why some stores they don't, some stores they do. Well, that's one of the stores that they don't. So I was literally like trying to hustle, hustle, hustle. That's why y'all see that sweat on the back of my neck. It's hot out here and I'm hustling. So I went and I did that. Then I dropped off the other, um, the Grubhub order just now. I'm 20 minutes away from the drop off for the uh, Instacart. It says I'm supposed to be there by 620. Uh, and the GPS says I'll be there by 613. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all. I'm about to rock out to the music. I got a long drive, got a 20 minute drive, like I said. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Look at this. Both of these, one order. So I'm hoping that I get a tip Uber Eats on Uber Eats, man. Because if not, $11, to me, this is like a large order. Let's see how much he spent. Look how much he spent. $265.85. Um, $265 Right after some serious cherry picking, I just picked up a um, DoorDash order for JJ Fish. Um, I'm actually not in my zone. I jumped ship and went to another zone. So I'm about to go grab it. Let's go get it. Look! Look at the house I just dropped off to. Right? Look at this house. So now. Would I be wrong if I did like that dash here said, they give me an $8 tip. You live in this big house and you give me an $8 tip. She thought she'd left a fair tip for her pizza delivery, but the DoorDash driver didn't agree. And he let the homeowner have it with some not so nice language. So how much should you tip to avoid a similar run-in? It started as a normal pizza delivery. The delivery guy hands over the pizza, but he's clearly not happy with his tip, and he has some strong words for the homeowner. I just want to say, it's a nice house for a $5 tip. You're welcome. That was rude. The total cost of her order of breadsticks and a medium pizza, $22.78. So the $5 she gave the DoorDash delivery guy comes out to a 22% tip. Sounds pretty reasonable. Call him ungrateful. Call yeah. him ungrateful, not nice. He was absolutely rude. I spoke to the homeowner, mom of two, Lacey Percival of Kempner, Texas. He could have been having a bad day and took it out on me. Um, I just want to say, it's a nice house for a $5 tip. And the fact that he um, pointed out that your house was nice, that seemed unfair. A hundred percent. And I still tip and I'm still doing the right thing and yet to still be treated that I should be doing more because of where I am in life. Your minimum for delivery, you want to be tipping anywhere from 10 to 15 percent. Now, if you've got a really small order, you should not be tipping any less than three to five five dollars for a delivery. Which is exactly what Lacey did, Thank and you. she has this message for her unhappy pizza guy. If you didn't like it, then I'm sorry. Maybe go find a different job that pays more. Um, I just want to say it's a nice house for a five dollar tip. 
Well, it turns out that delivery guy will have to find a new job. DoorDash tells us they fired him. They also say they've given Lacey $80 of credit to use toward future orders.